Hey everybody, this is Coop with Linux Learning Solutions. We've had several questions here recently about uh, the proper way from the factory level to check the ohms on a compressor to make sure that it's within range or maybe you're out on a service call and the compressor is not running. So what's the proper way uh, to go through and make sure that those readings meet the factory specifications for that particular compressor? So the first thing uh, that you always want to go through is safety. Uh, make sure that you're, you're doing things the right way because uh, the electricity that will flow through a, a system is enough to do some serious damage to you. So first things first, let's make sure that the power is off to the unit. And anytime you're going to ohm something, you're going to ohm it without power. So it's necessary to make sure uh, that the power is completely shut off. And just going to the circuit breaker or circuit breaker panel is not going to be enough uh, because uh, you run the risk of somebody going behind you and turning that unit back on. So what you want to make sure you do is shut off the power at the service disconnect at the unit that you're working at. So once you make sure that that's done, uh, you can move forward with checking the ohms on a compressor. We're to the point where the condenser fan motor's off and you have full access to this compressor. What do you do from there? So there's a couple of, couple of rules of thought here. So if, if you look here at this plug, I've got it loosened just so it's easier to, to get off here in a moment. But if you look at this plug, some, uh, some people like to uh, check it from the uh, wires themselves and not remove the plug. Uh, the reason for that, you begin to reduce the integrity of the terminals, uh, which can eventually lead to one of those terminals breaking off and causing a uh, serious blowout. As you can see in with this plug right here, on this plug, you've got the, the connectors that go straight to those terminals. And then right here, you can see one of the terminals of this compressor is still connected to this plug. And it was obviously hot enough. You can see the, the rubber was melting, a rubber plastic composite was melting. And the reason that it's flared out like that is because all of the refrigerant that was in the system this was connected to immediately left that system. So you wanna make sure to avoid this if you can. So if you're on a maintenance visit and you're uh, just wanting to make sure that the ohm rating, uh, ohm reading for that compressor is what the, the factory recommends, you can do it from the, the compressor, uh, the, the leads themselves from the terminals, but the truest reading is going to be uh, actually getting to the compressor and removing that plug. When you remove that plug, Try not to pull up or pull down on this compressor, but try to get it to come straight out so that you make sure that you're not uh, decreasing the integrity, like I said, of those terminals. So once we're to that point, we're gonna set, the, uh, set this plug to the side and you're gonna move in to bring up your meter and on your meter, you're going to make sure that you have ohms selected, which on this particular meter uh, and on most meters, ohms and continuity, the continuity check, so the, the siren, if you will, or the, the bell that goes off uh, when you have a uh, when you have continuity, uh, you're going to hear that here in a moment when I hook these up. But if, if you're trying to find out which one you're, you're hooking up to, um, you can usually look for the little speaker uh, and that'll tell you which which one it is. Uh, so once once you're there, you're going to hook up one lead to and you can start at any point that you want to start at. Um, I'm gonna back up for just a second here. On the plug itself, most of the time, it's going to tell you which color wire goes to which terminal, but you're not gonna be able to see, um, actually on this particular one, it shows you S, C, and R, so for start, common, and run, to tell you where they hook up on that compressor itself. So right now, according to the back side of this plug, I know that I am on the common terminal. So we're gonna hook up common and run and we're going to take a look at what that reading is so the reading says 1.5 ohms from there we're just going to go ahead and leave that black one connected and move over to the start terminal and see what that says 1.3 now we're going to go across to from start to run and it's at 2.8 so generally speaking the reading from your common to start and your common to run are going to be, <clears throat> when you add them together, they should come up to pretty close to what you're reading across start and run are. So from there, um, you can go on to, uh, depending on the maker of the compressor, this particular unit is a, a Copeland scroll. So you can download 
the Copeland Scroll app and see specifically for this compressor what those uh, readings should be uh, in the compressor. Another thing to, to keep in mind when you're looking at the, the compressor terminals, know that the top terminal is the common terminal, but there is a overload in place that is breaking up that connection. So it's not the true common. Uh, so if you're not getting a reading from common to start or common to run, but you do get a reading uh, across start and run, uh, generally speaking, that's going to be because that open, the overload is open. Another thing to keep in mind is if you are hooking up um, across your uh, common to run or common, or common to start and common to run, and they're equaling out to about the same thing, uh, you may have what they call a turn to turn short in that compressor. Uh, so this is just a, a brief overview of, of what it looks like to check those, uh, to check the ohms on the compressor. 